How's everybody doing? Yeah. I tell you guys are looking good. You feeling good? If you're feeling how you're looking, you're, you're feeling pretty good, right? You're looking good. Um, again, my name is Brandon Scott. Um, professional matchmaker. Uh, a little bit about me. I've actually uh, been matchmaker for about five years. Um, all throughout the United States. Definitely want to branch out to Canada because I hear it's a lot of beautiful, intelligent people here, right? Y'all agree? This book called The Bible. Anybody heard of that? Um, here. Okay, I'm in the right room, all right. Yeah. You know, gives us some really, really, you know, poignant uh, information that really can help you navigate through this amazing world of singleness. I say amazing. You know, some say like, oh, it's a terrible world. No, it's, ama it's an amazing world. You know, because what I've identified is a lot of people want to be married, but are preparing themselves for marriage. To get into a healthy relationship, if I went around this room right now, right, and I asked you, what's your name? Yeah? Joy. Joy. What's a healthy relationship, Joy? Give me the give me one word that comes to mind right, right now. Uh, compromise. Compromise. All right. What about you? What would you say? Communication. Communication. Uh, I'd say loving relationship. Loving. Respect. Respect. God centered. God centered. Honesty. So we got all these people, right? And I don't know if y'all know each other, but if you don't know each other, but you have all different answers, right? So we got to look introspectively and find out what can we do better? What are we doing well? What are we not doing so well? I'm gonna give you a, a tip. This is a really good thing to call somebody you used to date. Let's say you're still cordial, right? What's your name? Aretha? Like Aretha Frank? You say? Okay, all right, all right. Aretha, right? It's good to call that person that you used to date and just have a cordial conversation with them. It starts off like this. Hey, Brandon, um, I was just thinking, I'm just doing some, some self you know, evaluation this year. I'm trying to reach some different goals. I would love some feedback on how I was when you dated. What are some of the things I did really well? And what were some of the things I had room for improvement? I'm gonna have all of my ladies to stand real quick. Don't worry, you, you won't be on your heels too long. So all my gentlemen right now, please stand. All my gentlemen. All my gentlemen. That's right. That's right. So, I'm going to ask the same question I asked Are you guys available? I know you're single, right? Are you available to meet a nice young lady? Other than the church or a club, right? <clears throat> where have you found folk to be able to hook up and to meet up and to link? Okay, that's a great question. And, I, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna answer that question. Take your time. But I'm gonna back up, okay? <laughs> the people that I get a chance to work with um, are much like you guys. I call them the underexposed, right? The underexposed are a crowd that don't go out to the clubs and they're, they're not everywhere, right? They go to work, they have a friend group that they go out with to have fun, and, you know, out to eat and those kind of things where it's, it's kind of cool to have people who have similar interests. So if you're like a marathon runner, right? Join like a, a marathon club. Mm. Why not, right? 
you already know you guys both like to do that. Join that club, get to know that person, and you might meet a lot of other people that you didn't know before. The biggest thing for dating and relationships and all those different things is to help somebody become a better Christian. That's God's design, <clears throat> you know? So if you have that mentality of how can I help this person become a better Christian, and you look at it from that vantage point, how can I guard their heart? So if they open up to you and they, and they make themselves vulnerable, even if y'all break up, you're not telling all their business and those kind of things. Then you're then, then you're dating with intention, you're dating with purpose, and it's not just, you're not just like everybody else, right? You're really understanding God's design. He wants the union of man and woman to, <laughs> to be a, a strong union where you guys collectively can do some powerful things. So just remember that, and God bless you.